good morning children and welcome back in your english class and i hope that you all are fit and fine feeling happy and healthy and you all are doing uh, you all are preparing your notes as well as i hope that you are all watching the video and preparing your notes and studying well at home children before going uh, uh, before going to a next uh, portion next point next topic let's have a quick revision of those points whatever we have discussed earlier in our lecture children uh, as we have started the second poem that is the labanum top composed by ted hudges and children in our previous lecture we have discussed about the summary of the poem we have discussed about the message and theme of the poem we have also discussed about the uh, poet a brief life sketch of the poet that is the ted hudges and uh, we have also discussed about the theme about the uh, summary and uh, about the life brief life sketch of the ted hudges children we have already discussed about uh, all these points in our previous lecture and uh, in uh, we have discussed about uh, ted hudges that he was a modern british poet who was born on um, uh, august uh, in 1930 and died in, in october 28 1998 eight and uh, he was uh, in, in 1956 he was married to sylvia plath an american poet and in 1957 uh, uh, and the uh, uh in the 1957 his first volume of the verse the hawk in the rain was published in 1960 the lubrical was published and next uh, select the volume of the selected poem was published in 1962 and he also wrote some uh, uh, books for the children also like the giant man uh, was 1968 and the giant Uh, and the, also the iron giant that on which the film was made in 1999 so and the remains of the element in 1979 in which he recalled the days of his childhood so we have already discussed all these points about him about the ted hudges children we have discussed about the poem that the what in the poem is about the labanum top the poet is uh, the poet uh, the poem the labanum top um we have already discussed about the summary that uh, this poem labanum top is composed by ted hudges and in this uh, it is about a repaying relationship uh, between uh, the labanum tree and the goldfinch bird and uh, the tree is yellow silent quiet and death like um, but it but is made alive on the by the bird on the arrival of the bird goldfinch when the bird arrives on its thickness or, or on its thick branches when she enters into the thickness into the thick branches of the uh, labanum top the tree becomes alive the tree gets life and the yellow bird has her shelter on the tree and she used to feed her younger ones on the branches of the labanum tree and uh, the tree was the then tree is filled with um, happiness the tree is filled with life and the goldfinch bird and her younger ones start chirping like vibrating like a machine vibrating and uh, and her young chicks her young chicks started uh, starting flapping start flapping their uh, feathers their wings start flapping their wings and as but as soon as the bird leaves the tree to fly in the sky and the labanum tree uh, once again uh, becomes uh, silent quiet and death like so this is the summary of the poem what we have discussed uh, about the poet poem in our previous lecture we have already discussed about the summary of the uh, poem so children in today's lecture uh, we are going to uh, start we are going to start the explanation of the paragraphs one by one and uh, first i will read the paragraph one by one and then i will tell you the explanation of the uh, those paragraphs one by one so in today's lecture in previous lecture we have discussed about the summary of the poem what this what summary we have discussed we have discussed the about the 
लेबनम ट्री अबाउट द लेबनम वी आई टोल्ड यू इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर कि लेबनम इज अ नेम ऑफ अ ट्री विथ इट इज विथ हैंगिंग ब्रांचेज एंड येलो फ्लावर्स एंड इट हैज पॉइजनस सीड्स ऑल्सो and uh, uh, and top is that uh, top part of the tree and here the top also uh, means uh, uh, the hood the cluster the uh, cluster means of ko hindi mein keh sakte hain guchha and at also a goldfinch bird uh, it uh, goldfinch uh, what is uh, goldfinch bird is a small uh, bird uh, having yellow feathers on its wings सो इंग्लिश में हिंदी में उसको यू कैन से दैट सोन चिड़िया सोन चिड़ी जिसे कहते हैं इन हिंदी इट इज दैट वर्ड इज कॉल्ड एज सोन चिड़ी सो द इट इज अ रीपेइंग रिलेशनशिप बिट इट इज अ ब्यूटिफुल रीपेइंग रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन गोल्ड फिंच बर्ड एंड लेबनम ट्री सो दिस इज द समरी ऑफ द पोएम दिस इज द थीम ऑफ द पोएम एंड द पोएट ड्रॉज अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल थीम अबाउट इट इज आई थिंक दट इज इट द लेबन एंड टी सिम्बलाइज द पैटर्न ऑफ अ लाइफ इन जर्नल दैट इट पैटर्न ऑफ जर्नल विच इज यूजली डेल एंड इन एनिमेट एंड हेयर इन दिस पोएम द गोल्ड फिंच बर्ड चेंज इज ट्रांसफॉर्म द लाइफ ऑफ द लेबन एंड ट्री एंड a tree and the tree becomes uh, alive the tree gets life and then what happen uh, in other words you can say that ki it is the attitude of a person uh, that makes the it is the attitude of person towards life that makes the life more meaningful more worth living so this is the theme what the poet uh, wants to tell the readers so children this is the Uh, summary of the poem and uh, we have already discussed about all these points in our previous lecture now in today's lecture as i told you we will start the explanation of the paragraphs and one by one so let's start the explanation of the paragraphs one by one so children let's start the explanation of the uh, paragraphs of the poem the lebanum top uh, composed by ted hages now uh, let's uh, start the paragraph now first i read the paragraph then i will explain the paragraph one by one so the first paragraph is the lebanum top is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves yellowing all its seeds fallen now in these lines in the first paragraph in these lines the poet describes now the poet describes a very beautiful sunny autumn season the poet describes a very beautiful uh, sunny autumn now here the top is the upper part of the tree that has cluster you can say that in a uh, other another meaning um, can be you can uh, can be uh, top means a uh, hood or cluster but the top is here upper part of the tree and it can also be hood or cluster means just a phoolo ka guchha ya patniyon ka guchha jo hai wo that mean top ya top means upper part of the tree now here silent means noiseless ये क्वाइट मीन्स कम्प्लीटली एंड स्टिल इज मोशनलेस एंड देन हेयर इन द थर्ड लाइन येलोइंग मीन्स येलोइंग एक्सप्रेस इज गेटिंग येलो यानी लीव्स आर गेटिंग येलो नाउ इन दिस लाइन वॉट पोइट डिस्क्राइब्स द पोइट डिस्क्राइब्स अ ब्यूटिफुली सनी ऑटम द लेबनम ट्री द लेबनम ट्री इज साइलेंट एंड स्टिल the lebanum tree is silent and it is completely motionless the lebanum top the lebanum tree is silent and it is completely motionless now it is laden with it is uh, laden with yellow leaves and yellow flowers in the month of september it is laden with yellow leaves and yellow flowers in the month of september and it leaves have turned yellow and it leaves are getting yellow it leaves have turned yellow because of the autumn season because of the autumn season its leaves have 
turn yellow and all its seeds have fallen because uh, it is the autumn season that is why then its leaves have turned yellow and its seeds have fallen in the month of september in autumn season so लेबनम जी uh, um, uh, the what the poet described यानी सितंबर के महीने की जो एक पीली धूप है the yellow uh, पीली धूप में अमलतास यानी अमलतास का पेड़ that is the लेबनम टॉप उसके अमलतास की जो चोटी है वो क्या है साइलेंट है यानी शांत है बिल्कुल मोशनलेस है और इसकी कुछ पत्तियाँ क्या हो रही हैं पीली हो रही हैं टर्नड येलो हो रही हैं इसके सारे बीज जो हैं वो गिर चुके हैं यानी इन द बिकॉज ऑफ द ऑटम सीजन द इट इज लैडन विथ येलो लीव एंड येलो फ्लावर्स इन सेप्टेम्बर इट्स लीव है टर्न येलो बिकॉज ऑफ द ऑटम सीजन एंड ऑल सीव हैव फॉल इन नाउ लेट्स कंटिन्यू सेकेंड पैराग्राफ टिल द गोल्ड फिंच कम्स विथ अ ट्विचिंग चर्ब अ सडन लेस अ स्टार्ट मेंट at a branch end then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt she enters the thickness and the machine starts up and then of chitterings and to tremor of wings and trillings the whole tree trembles and thrills it is the engine of her family she stalks it full then flirts out to a branch end showing her bare face identity mask now here the uh, here the goldfinch is means goldfinch is a small singing bird with yellow uh, feathers on its wings and twitching his hair twitching his hair uh, uh, you can say that uh, a small Uh, a very small or you can say that it is a small movement of the body that is a twitching with a jerk ek jhatke ke sath jo hai wo uh, movement karna that is called the twitching now here chirp means the sound made by the bird and uh, here the uh, suddenness means yeah the uh, here the what the meaning of start uh, start uh, startlement here the startlement means amazement yani sudden shock startlement means amazement a sudden shock and here end is edge yani kinara end is edge and then here sleek is smooth and shiny yani bahut chamakdar as a lizard you know that what is the meaning of lizard and alert is here uh, alert is vigilant यानी मतलब वॉर्न होना या अलर्ट होना विजिलेंट होना एंड एप्रेक्ट मीन्स हियर सडनली एंड अनएक्सपेक्टेड यानी बिना अनएक्सपेक्टेड या सडनली यानी अचानक शी एंटर्स द थिकनेस एंड देन हियर द मीनिंग इज चिटरिंग्स चिटरिंग इज द साउंड मेड बाय द बर्ड एंड हियर टमॉ इज शेकिंग टमॉ इज शेकिंग और यू कैन से दैट क्विक मूवमेंट्स यानी बहुत तेज कंपन करना ट्रेमोय मीन्स क्विक मूवमेंट और शेकिंग नाउ हेयर ट्रेलिंग्स ट्रेलिंग्स है टू सिंग अ सीरीज ऑफ यू कैन से दैट कि टू सिंग अ सीरीज ऑफ क्विकली रिपीटेड हाई नोट्स और यू कैन से दैट कि रिपीटेड शॉर्ट हाई साउंड यानी बहुत तेज स्वर में जो है वो कप कप आती आवाज में किसी चीज सॉन्ग को गाना दैट इज द रिपीटेड शॉर्ट हाई साउंड नाउ हेयर ट्रेम्बल्स एंड थ्रिल्स नाउ द मीनिंग ऑफ ट्रेम्बल्स एंड थ्रिल्स आर शेक्स वायलेंटली शेक्स वायलेंटली एंड देन स्टोक्स हेयर द मीनिंग ऑफ स्टोक इज एड्स फ्यू यानी हेयर द गोल्ड फिंच इज फीडिंग हर चिक्स so stokes is here at fuel and uh, here the goldfinch bird uh, is feeding her chicks and she adds fuel to the uh, to her chicks so add stokes me add fuel and then uh, here flirts flirts me move abruptly or jerkily with light step yani jaisa hop हॉपिंग करना ये हॉप्स करना यानी फुदकती यानी फुदकती है चिड़िया वॉज हॉपिंग द बर्ड इज हॉपिंग सो हेयर the bird 
बेड इज स्ट्रिप्ट यानी धारी दार यू कैन सी दैट ना ऑन यू कैन ऑल्सो सी द स्ट्रिप्ट लाइन्स ऑन जेब्रा ऑल्सो सो दियर द स्ट्रिप्ट मीन्स धारी दार जिस पे आप स्ट्रिप्स लाइन होती हैं धारी दार लाइन्स की चीज रहती हैं दैट इज कॉल्ड बेड नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट द एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ द पैराग्राफ नाउ हेयर वॉट द पोइट सेज दैट जस्ट देन टिल द गोल्ड फिंच कम्स विथ अ ट्विटिंग चेर a sudden less startlement startle startlement at a branch end then sleek as lizard and alert and abrupt she enters the thickness and machine starts up of chitterings and a tremor of wings and trillings the whole tree trembles and thrills it is the engine of her family she stokes it full then flirts out to a branch end showing her bare face identity mask now here the poet uh, uh, says yeah describes that just then a gold finch bird alights on the lebanon tree making short high pitched sounds the gold finch has her nest in the tree and her chicks are resting in the nest so on the mother's return a sudden movement a sudden movement um uh, steers the tree sudden movement steers the tree and then what happened her little ones are excited and her little ones are excited on her arrival and start chirping and start chirping and the cautious mother and the cautious mother enters the tree with great care so that a no predator predator means shikari you can say that ki a violent animal you can say that ki koi bhi shikari jo hai jo cautious mother jo alert mother thi jo mother was very uh, the bird was uh, very alert so the cautious the uh, uh, cautious mother enters the tree with great care so that no predator no violent animal can come to know that her babies are housed or you can say that her babies are resting in the nest yani jo bahut alert ho ke jo uh, bird thi gold finch bird thi wo branch pe enter karti hai thickness of the branch pe enter karti hai pravesh karti hai aati hai taki koi jo shikari jo hai wo ye jaan na paaye ki unke uske bacche jo hai wo nest mein rest kar rahe hain ya us branch par unka ghosla hai jisme uske bacche hain so the cautious mother enters the tree with great care that no predator can come to know that her babies are housed or resting in the nest now here the poet compared the alert you can say the uh, uh, you can say that ki alert and sudden uh, abrupt yani the poet has compared the alert or you can say that sudden and sleek the poet has compared the alert sudden and smooth movement of the goldfinch with that of a lizard with that of a lizard what poet has compared the poet has compared the alert or uh, sudden and smooth and shining a uh, movement of the goldfinch with that of a lizard the goldfinch has been called the engine here the engine word is used here here the engine word is used now the poet says that ki here the goldfinch bird has been called the engine of a family just as the engine starts up the machine her in the same way her arrival in the nest has suddenly started up the silent machine that is the nest and machine is here the nest and the engine is the goldfinch bird and then that is the young ones have started Uh, chirping and making noise what the poet has compared the poet has compared the alert or you can say that ki sudden or sleek yani smooth and shiny movement of the goldfinch bird with that of the lizard and also the poet uh, says that ki here the goldfinch bird has been called the engine of her family and just as the engine starts up the machine her in the same way her arrival the gold finch birds arrival in the nest has suddenly started up the silent machine and the silent machine is here the nest the nest is here the silent machine 
and and how the machine started up that is the young ones have started chirping and making noise so by feeding uh, her young ones she has added fuel to the machine now here the uh, uh, poet says that she adds fuel to the machine now she stoked it's full now here the poet says in this line she stoked it full it means that by feeding her young ones she has added to fuel machine and then and as a result what happened after uh, adding the fuel to the machine what happened after as a result of that adding the fuel to the machine the chicks have now have the energy to be active and make noise and they started making noise so the poet what in the uh, and after feeding her chicks the goldfinch bird flies up the rest the rest after feeding her chicks what happened after feeding her chicks the goldfinch flies up flits out of branch it flies up and rest on the end of the branch of the tree after feeding after adding the fuel to the machine yani after feeding her chicks after feeding her chicks Uh, she has added fuel to the machine that is uh, that is the after feeding her young chicks she the goldfin the bird flies up and rests on the end of the branch of the tree and her identity her identity concealed behind the yellow flowers yani she visibly she uh, 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 she vanished behind the yellow flowers her identity concealed yani he can he her identity yani she vanished behind the yellow flowers she concealed her identity behind the yellow flowers and yellowing leaves now here what and she has the stripped identity uski dhari dar uski body pe stripped bane hue the so she has uh, stripped identity matlab ye hai ki uski dhari dar jo chehra dikhate hue wo jo hai wo shaakha ke kinare par phudak kar ke hop kar ke chhip jati hai aur uska chehra aisa lagta hai jaise usne koi mukhota pehna hua hai aur that mask that covering becomes her identity that marks that covering marks is her covering the marks jo hai aisa lagta hai ki usne koi mukhota ya mask pehna hua hai and her mask and that marks becomes her identity kehne ka matlab hai ki bachcho isme ki uh, here the now uh, here amaltas ka jo ped hai वो बहुत ही ज़्यादा शांत रहता है जब तक उस पर गोल्ड फिंच बर्ड नहीं आती है वो एक शाखा के मतलब एक ब्रांच के छोर पे झटके के साथ बिल्कुल सडनली वो जो है वो सडनली वो जो है अचानक चौंकाती हुई आती है एक छिपकली की तरह बिल्कुल पतली सी और बिल्कुल अलर्ट होकर विजिलेंट होकर और जो ये गोल्ड फिंच बर्ड है वो पत्तियों की थिकनेस में यानी शे एंटर्स द थिकनेस यानी पत्तियों की सघनता उसकी घने पत्तियों में वो एंटर करती है और अपनी चहचहाटों से और पंखों की तरह बिल्कुल मशीन की तरह जो वाइब्रेट करती है अपने पंखों को फ्लैप करती हुई जो है वो फुदकती है वन फ्रॉम वन ब्रांच टू अनदर ब्रांच और पूरा पेड़ जो है द होल ट्री बिकम्स फिल द होल ट्री बिकम्स एक्टिव और द होल ट्री बिकम्स Uh, the whole tree uh, is now full of life then what happened or fir iske baad then after feeding her chick the goldfinch uh, flies up and rest on the end of the branch of the tree and her identity concealed behind the yellow flowers and yellow leaves and she had uh, it uh, it seems that she uh, has a mask a covering and that mask becomes her identity so this is the def- explanation of the paragraph children now let's move to the another paragraph now uh, then with airy delicate whistle chirp chirp whisperings she launches away towards the towards the infinite then with airy delicate whistle chirp whisperings she launches away towards the infinite and the labanum subsides to empty now here the meaning you can uh, i tell you the meaning of the difficult words eri is here 
you can say strange or uh, you can say that soft eri means a strange in a very frightening or a mysterious way here eri is here strange now delicate you can say that very soft and here whistle you can say that you know what is the whistling or whistle and chirp is chirping or sound made by the bird and launches is here uh, flies away launches means she flies away and infinite is here uh, the sky infinite the meaning uh, of infinite is endless and the endless is only sky so here infinite symbolizes the it shows it tells about the sky and subsides here the meaning of subside is subsides to empty the meaning of these words the subsides to empty uh, it means become silent just as earlier the tree becomes silent just as earlier now what the poet says in these lines the poet says that ki after some time the goldfinch makes a strange short high pitched sounds what happened after some time the goldfinch bird makes a strange short high pitched sound yani ek adbhut si soft si delicate si siti jaisi chehchhat चहचहाटों के साथ जो है वो चर्पिंग के साथ जो है वो एक गोल्डफिंच बर्ड जो है वो स्काई में या आकाश में या स्काई में जो है वो उड़ जाती है यानी आफ्टर सम टाइम द गोल्डफिंच मेक्स अ स्ट्रेंज यानी एक बहुत ही स्ट्रेंज और मिस्टीरियस साउंड जो है वो प्रोड्यूस करती है गोल्डफिंच बर्ड एंड देन शी फ्लाइज अवे टूवर्ड्स द इन्फिनिट स्काई the poet says in these lines that after some time the goldfinch bird makes a strange high pitch sound and then she flies away towards the infinite sky yani ek tez kampan ek bahut hi high pitch sound karte hue jo hai wo ek strange sound produce karti hai ko the goldfinch bird and then she flies away towards the endless sky Now what happened when she uh, flew away what happened when she flies away then the lebanon tree become silent again after the departure of the goldfinch bird what happened to the tree the tree the lebanon tree becomes silent again wo fir se death like ho jata hai lebanon tree the lebanon tree becomes silent again after the departure of the goldfinch bird and everything seems to be the same as it was before the arrival of the goldfinch the what poet says that ki everything um, everything uh, seems to be the same as it was before the arrival of the goldfinch yani goldfinch bird ke aane se pehle jo ped jis tarike se still tha silent tha quiet tha motionless tha और अब गोल्डफिंच बर्ड यानी बर्ड के उड़ने के बाद बर्ड के चले जाने के बाद लेबन ट्री फिर उसी तरीके से साइलेंट स्टिल और डेथ लाइक और मोशनलेस हो जाता है सो इन दीज लाइन्स वॉट द पोइट सेज आई वंस अगेन रिपीट आफ्टर सम टाइम वॉट हैपन द गोल्ड फिंच बर्ड मेक अ स्ट्रेंज हाई पिच साउंड एंड देन शी फ्लाइज अवे टूवर्ड्स द इन्फिनिट स्काई and after that what happened to the tree the lebanon tree becomes silent again becomes motionless again become death like again and then again after the departure of the goldfinch bird and now what happened everything seems to be the same as it was before the arrival of the goldfinch bird so the once again the goldfinch bird uh, lebanon tree becomes silent motionless and death like after the departure of the goldfinch bird so children this is the summary of this is the explanation of the paragraph and the poet ends here the poem ends here now uh, there are some poetic devices there are some figures of a speech used in the poem now the first figure of a uh, speech that is used in this poem is simile now here the poem is uh, in the, in this line then sleek as a lizard now here 
in this figure of speech now i told you i um, in uh, i already told you about the definition of simile that the in this figure of speech one thing is compared to another um, with the help of words like or as so here an example is here the simile is here then sleek as a lizard means the bird is compared to the lizard यानी बर्ड का कंपेयर लिजर्ट से किया जा रहा है और विद द हेल्प ऑफ वर्ड एज सो हियर द कंपेरिजन इज मेड सो हियर सिमली इज यूज एंड हियर द वर्ड एज इज यूज टू कंपेयर द बर्ड विथ लिजर्ट सो हियर सिमली द फिगर ऑफ द स्पीच इज यूज यानी इन दिस लाइन देन स्लीक एज अ रिजर्ट सिमली इज यूज नाउ another figure of speech is used that is a metaphor and i told you the definition of metaphor also that in this figure of speech a word or phrase is used to represent something else in the metaphor also the comparison is also made in metaphor comparison is also made but without the words uh, without the use of words like or as comparison is made but without the use of words like or as so here the example of metaphor in this poem are engine of her family now here the engine of her family here the poet is the poet is comparing the bird with the engine but without the use of words like or as so in this line the metaphor figure of the speech is used where engine represents the mother goldfinch and machine which represent the nest what the engine represents the mother goldfinch and machine which represents the nest with its brood of bird chicks so here the metaphor figure of speech is used how because here engine in this poem engine of a family metaphor is used where how it is used where engine represents the mother goldfinch and machine which represent the nest with its brood of bird chicks understood children now two uh, and the uh, metaphor and simile are figures of speech are used and the figure of speech onomatopoeia is also used in this poem and uh, in this figure of speech i told you uh, that a word is formed from a sound similar to it i told you the definition that in this figure of speech a word is formed from a sound similar to it and the example of this figure of speech in this poem are twitching like uh, here now here it is given twitching chirp chitterings and trillings and whistle chirp now all these words are producing sound similar to each other all these words are producing sound similar to each other like twitching chirp and uh, uh, here it here, here trillings and then here chitterings here chitterings and here whistle chirp all these words are producing uh, sound similar to each other so here the onomatopoeia figure of speech is used so children there are three uh, figures of speech are used in this poem first is simile in the sleek as a lizard and second one is metaphor that is the engine of a family and third one is the onomatopoeia that is the words like chittering chirp and thrilling uh, trilling and whistle chirps and chitterings so simile in the figure of a speech here the she and uh, uh, sleek as a lizard bird is compared to the lizard with the help of words as the comparison is made with the help of word as so here simile is used and metaphor is used uh, the engine of her family here the bird is engine is the bird and the machine is the nest so here the comparison is also made the comparison is made but without the use of words like or as and and the onomatopoeia figure of speech is used and uh, how because here twitching chirp chittering and thrillings and whistle chirp all these words are producing sound similar to each other
So these figures of the speech are used in this poem. So we have finished the explanation of the poem that is the Lebanon talk written by Ted Hudges. And then uh, children, I will send you the central idea. I will send you the reference to context and all the notes I will send uh, in the PDF to you. So this is the explanation of the paragraph. So, so now we, uh, we will stop here and uh, I hope that you all will, you all, uh, able to understand the poem so take care of yourself uh, take care of yourself and your family goodbye